What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So this is the Grandista Brand Pesto Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta Fusion uh, statue. And it's from the Broly Super movie. Or, yeah, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, my bad. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool statue. I saw it in Box Lynch. I was like, oh, I need to have that. That's really, really nice. Um, I got it for $10 using box lunch money and I used my $5 rewards. I think it was for my birthday. So that's cool. My birthday is July 30th, if anybody's wondering. Um, people, can't, A lot of people keep asking me about my age lately. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. I love the little sticker they always put on there. But let's get this bad boy open. I'm glad I got it for 10 bucks alongside Kool-Aid Man over there, which that's part of the giveaway. So coming Sunday, so please enter on that video. I'll put it at the end of this one. So let's get this going. I'm very, very excited for this. The fact that I got it so cheap, it was just like a must have. And it's a super tall statue. I'm gonna compare it to the Goku over there. Not sure if that's in frame, but let's take this bad boy out. Whoa. This table I'm on is really shaky. I need to get a separate table for this kind of stuff. This one is kind of like balanced. It's like sitting on top of this stand right now. So we're gonna just, and this is pretty much how all of their figures are packed. I'll show you guys. It's always the same, you know, it's just a lot of, a lot of extra space sometimes. I heard there was a problem with the legs that people didn't like in, um, in comments I read on another video. So I'm going to see what's going on with that once I put it all together. So we're going to put the box right here, but all right, guys, we got our display. Let's start taking pieces out. So this is the foot piece that right here, that's the foot piece that pretty much holds the whole statue up and. It's what it looks like for their boots. And we got the head. Let's get the head out. I love doing unboxing so much. That's probably one of my favorite videos to do is unboxing. And what something that really drew me to this um, particular statue was its height, its price, and the hair the most. I, I gotta give it to the hair because that is so beautiful. And I, I, I don't know, it's just kind of crazy. It's like glistening. Almost, and I want to give you guys a, sh a closer look to it. So I'll show you guys a little closer look. Like, it's glistening. Look at that face, too. That face looks angry. But yeah, it's 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 truly awesome. I love the amount of detail they did to it. It's, it's just so nice. So, let's get... Let's get his little... Uh, I think this is, like, part of his gi. I don't know what this is exactly called, but it's part of his gi. I know that. Um, it's the little piece that goes around his, uh, waist. That piece. I don't know what this is called, so if there's a specific name for this, someone tell me down below. Let's get his body out. That's probably what, what his, uh, chest, if I would say, and his arms that are gigantic. <laughs> so, ooh. Ah, oh, the detail on this is a phenomenal. I love the paint job so much. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's interesting how the head's gonna go in. I'm kind of curious. Why does it have the, uh, like I'll show you guys the back. Why does it have the little hole in the uh, neck slot right there? I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but let's uh, let's connect it and see why. It fits on there really nice. I guess it's supposed to go sideways, is it? No, I think it's, oh yeah, it goes sideways. You fit it on there really good, but that's him, half completed, pretty much. It's really, really cool, though. I like it. All right, let's get the body out. I want to see how tall he is compared to the box. So we're just going to cut down the legs here. Seems like the easiest way. I'm really excited. I'm just really glad I got it. For, if I can keep getting statues for such a good price, it, it's just, honestly, it's worth it to me. So let's get this out of the way. We Oh, wow, this is actually... Compared to this, this is like, look at this. Just me shaking it, I can shake this way more faster. It's so light. Like, let me show you some close-ups of them before I put it fully together. But uh, that's his face. Oh, let me get his face in there. It, his hair really covers his face. It's kind of annoying. That's his body. And this is his pants and everything. Just show you guys the detail and stuff like that. So let me show you guys. I love the paint job. It's so amazing, truly. The hair is just on point guys it's seriously on point i'm doing this kind of backwards so sorry if i'm messing up the angles and such but the feet i think i can see why they don't like the feet because like you just do that you hear the difference in knocking ah. this one's way more hollow it feels like it has like nothing in it at all and i don't understand how this is even going to hold him up 
But let's put his head back on because it fell off. So, yeah, this was really, really cool to get. Okay, so his body fits together pretty well. It's pretty easy, and it seems to be pretty secure in there. But um, I'm going to sh show you guys up and down because I don't think I can get it all in frame unless it's standing right here. He can stand on his own, though. That's so weird that he needs this little foot stamp. Interesting. But it is a phenomenal statue. Let me get this on there. Where does this go? Oh, here. Here we go. This is just popping. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, it's beautiful, guys. Can we just show that here? Here, let me zoom in. I gotta do all the camera work myself, guys. So we're just gonna zoom in on that a little bit. It doesn't look that great zoomed in, but <laughs> you guys get the point. I'll show you guys up close. That's truly amazing. Focus. There we go. Perfect. I'm totally a great cameraman, guys. Jesus, this guy's ripped. <laughs> okay, look at that. He looks angry, too. Now, I'm kind of curious. What One thing I'm curious about, and I'll get this. Actually, he's really not that much taller. They're actually the same height. No. Goku Super Saiyan 4 has, like, it seems like he has a few inches on him. This cheat stand is so much cheaper than this one, but yeah. So that's a side-by-side -side picture, or little image of them to show you how tall he really is. So he's j pretty much just as tall as Goku, it seems like. And I just the detail on him. I mean, I love the manga detail on um, Goku, and I wish it was kind of like this one. Um, there was a Trunks one at Halo, the Halo convention I was at um, just recently, Halo Outpost. There was a Trunks that looked like the same design as uh, Goku, and I was like, oh, I want it, but 60 bucks was steep. It really was, and he wasn't even nearly as big as Goku was. So, but yeah, I mean, it's just honestly, for ten dollars, I can't complain. I really can't. I think the detail on the hair is phenomenal. Um, I, I love, I just love Gogeta so much. I hope we get a, um, Super Saiyan Gogeta, uh, statue. I, I don't know if I saw one of those statues, but I'm hoping to get a pop for Super Saiyan Gogeta and Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, uh, God Super Saiyan, uh, Gogeta. That was a lot of Super Saiyans. I think I said too many, but still. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. This was really, really cool for me to get. I, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan, as you guys know. Say goodbye to Goku. Say goodbye to Gogeta. Tell me down below what you think of this statue and... Tell me down below who is your favorite Dragon Ball Z character or Dragon Ball Super character. All right, love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.